I think I will um, I'm gonna read a little a little bit from the book, one of my uh, my favorite scenes, and then I'll answer some questions and then we'll we'll do science. Right after um, uh, Alex and Connor and Froggy and Queen Red and Jack and Goldilocks uh, team up to go on a, a big quest to defeat the evil enchantress in this book. And uh, this next scene takes place right after they um, acquire uh, the Snow Queen's um, magic scepter. So they just defeated <laughs> polar bears and uh, they defeated the, the Snow Queen. Um, so this, this is what happens right after they, uh, they get back. All right, here we go. Alright. And they're traveling on a big ship. That's also the issue. You'll find out when you read it. So. Yo back, yo back, Froggy said, and literally leaped for joy as they climbed aboard the ship. Well, how'd it go? Did you get the scepter? Alex showed him the Snow Queen's scepter. Boy, do we have a story for you, she said. But before Alex could start, Red emerged from the lower deck. Oh good, you're all back. You won't believe what happened to me while you were gone, she said. We won't believe what happened to you, Connor asked, wondering what the top to feeding polar bears in the snow queen. Red was caught cradling something in her arms like a baby. As she neared the others, you could see it was furry and had four paws. I got a puppy! <laughs> Red said, and happily showed them the small dog sleeping in her arms. Where did you get a puppy? Alex asked. I grew a little impatient waiting for you to, re to return. Oh, I see you have a scepter. Well done. Anyway, I went for a walk to pass the time and found this little guy wandering around the snow alone. He was helpless, starving, and adorable, so I decided to adopt him, Red explained. No one knew what to say. Anything they could have said about, retrie about retrieving the scepter wouldn't have been nearly as interesting to her as the pup in her arms. Did you name him? Connor asked. I named him Claudius, Red informed him. I named him after one of the characters from my favorite shaky fruit play, Hamhead. <laughs> Froggy hit his forehead with an open hand. Hamlet, my dear, he corrected her. <laughs> yes, that's the one, she said. But I'm going to spell with the W. Wouldn't that be divine? Claudius with the W. Do you get it? <laughs> Everyone nodded along with her like she was a three-year-old child. <laughs> Except for Goldilocks. She was staring daggers at Red. You probably don't get it, Red said, and explained it to her further. If I spell it with a W, the word claw will be in his name, like an animal claw. Get it now? Say it with me, Goldilocks. Claudius. <laughs> Goldilocks looked down at the small dog, then back up at Ryder's smile. He's very cute. Congratulations. The others did a double take. They'd never seen Goldilocks collect herself so effort effortlessly before. Thank you, Red said. She climbed the steps back down to the lower deck. Rocking her new pet as she went. Oh my, what cute little paws you have, Claudius. Oh my, what precious little eyes you have. Oh my, what pointy little ears you have. Goldilocks began unloading all, all, all her weapons, chuckling as she did. That was a big deal, Connor said to her. What's so amusing? Jack asked. Red is for a real lately, Goldilocks said. Oh dear, Frog said. Why is that? A sly smile came to Goldilocks' face. I recognize one of those anywhere. That's not a puppy. It's a wolf cub. 